All right, guys, welcome back to another video. Um, quickly in the background, you can see I have a sealed Darkness Ablaze trainer box, which I do plan on opening uh, in the future. That just came in the mail along with some other goodies. So look forward to that. Anyways, today we will now be opening the <laughs> elusive Champion's Path trainer box. Uh, as you can see, this one has a $100 price tag on it, which is still kind of outrageous, but uh, I actually did manage to get my hands on a second one, um, which I want to quickly take a second to say a huge shout out to the people over at GNU Books uh, on Simcoe Street in Oshawa. Um, I can't leave the house because, well, my family has COVID right now, so we're not allowed to leave, um, but I actually ended up paying over the phone and one of the people who worked there offered to drop it right off at my house um, that day that I ordered it slash bought it. Uh, I asked him to ship it, but he said that he would just drop it right off at my house because he lived near me. So super cool of him to do that for me. Huge shout out to them. And so now we will be opening our Champion's Path trainer box. We'll take a quick look at the back, see what's involved here. Of course, we got our set little uh, card book. I'm actually not sure what this is, but <laughs> uh, we also have sleeves, some little stuff that p probably has to do with actually playing the game. I don't actually play, so I don't know. Um, of course, we have our energy cards, our deck dividers, the nice Charizard promo card, and 10 um, Champion's Path booster packs. Um, if you didn't know why this one's a little bit more expensive, it actually comes with two more booster packs than the standard uh, trainer box. At least the Darkness of Blaze one only comes with eight and does not have um, any promo cards or anything. So let's get into this. We're breaking the seal. This is kind of crazy. Um, right now I am still working with natural light, so I apologize if it's uh, not the greatest, but I do have a light coming. <laughs> Anyway, so this box looks really cool. It's got the nice reflection on the Charizard. I do have the other box still, and I do plan on opening it, just not today. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and take that off. You can see right, oh geez, maybe not. Um, so yeah, a nice little reflective cover. We've got the, push this aside for a sec. We've got the player's guide, which details all of the cards in the set. We'll take a quick second to go through them. Um, as of right now, this Eldegoss V card is actually, come on, focus now, is actually um, an English exclusive card, which is interesting. I really, really like to pull that Venusaur, and, you know, the Waylord would be cool as well. <laughs> uh, we'll go through, let's just, give me one sec, I'll go to the actual friggin'. Yeah, so anyway, that's an exclusive artwork, sorry, I don't know if I specified that, please focus. Um, we got the Venusaur V card as well. Already pulled the Incineroar. Let's take a look at what we got. Dreadnought V Max, Wailord, Dreadnought V, Gardevoir V, Gardevoir V Max. Um, don't really have any interest in any of that. Uh, I'd like to pull the Lucario V card. The Alcremie V Max would be pretty cool too. Um, the Dreadnought V Max would be okay, um, but I'd be more interested in pulling, say, hold on. I'd be more interested in probably pulling the Gardevoir Dreadnought V, the Cursula V card, full art is cool too. Hop, obviously. Obviously, any of the Rainbow Rares would be cool, and that is the main one though, the Shiny Charizard and the Rainbow Rare Charizard. Um, of course, you have the Secret Rare Suspicious Food. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. You got this nice little illustration, and that's that. Champion's Path. It's a pretty small set. Um, really quickly, Inside of here is a nice little combination of the different arts. I'm not gonna bust it open because I just don't really feel like doing that. I'm not really sure if you can see. But yeah, it's all the pack arts uh, on the inside. That's how every trainer box I've ever opened has looked on the inside of the sleeve there. So yeah, here we go um, with the nice little reflective Charizard, of course. We'll take off the top there, see what's inside. We got, so this is what I was unsure about. This is a Pokemon trading card game rules, which actually seems pretty cool. I actually would like to, I don't know about getting into playing it, but I'd, I'd like to know how the game works because I've been collecting the cards since I was such a young kid and I just have no idea 
how the game even works. Like, I have no idea how to play it at all. Anyway, yeah, so there's just, I might go through that later in more detail by myself. You probably don't care. <laughs> just nice little trading cards. Uh, we will take this off. And let's see, what do we go for first? So first thing, we have 10 Champions Path Booster Packs. Pop those over there. We'll get in here, see that we have some nice Champions Path uh, sleeves. Uh, we also have, ha ha ha, let's take it out, the Charizard V promo card. There you guys go. Um, as far as I've heard, the centering on these, well, maybe not specifically the centering. I mean, the centering on this one isn't the greatest, but I've heard that these cards in general, these promo Charizards are hard to grade. So obviously you can see the centering. Um, other than that though, it actually really doesn't look so bad. So that's nice. <laughs> uh, again, yeah, the centering's not the greatest, but uh, yeah, it's actually not too bad of a card there. Keep that sealed. We'll pop that up right there. Let's see what else we got in here. Uh, we got a code card. Whoever gets it, there you go. Got our nice little, oh geez, our nice little pack of energies. Um, we got all of them in there. I think fairies are still in there. I'm not really sure why, because Pretty sure fairies were removed from the TCG, but there's some energies in there if you wanted them. <laughs> um, some nice, cool little dice, I guess. I don't really know what I would do with these. I don't really have any use for these, but it's okay. Got some deck dividers. I think that's what these are. They're in, they're pretty mashed up, so that's kind of cool, but they uh, <laughs> feature the VMAX Charizard art. There's also some of these. But yeah, VMAX Charizard showed up in the last set, Darkness Ablaze, as I'm sure you're aware. Um, and yeah, so that's that same card in Rainbow Rare format is like the chase card along with the shiny Charizard V of this set. I'm not going to make any like huge guesstimates about the amount of pulls I'm going to get from this box because I've honestly seen some pretty impressive <laughs> um, situations going on with these where it's like some people pull really crazy stuff and some people pull garbage. So there you go, just bang my elbow nice. Um, so yeah, I'm actually not gonna do the card trick. I'm just gonna kind of flip through them. So you got the NK, Pokeball, Sizzlypeed, Zigzagoon, a Reverse Hollow Sonya, which is kind of cool, and a Zygarde Hollow. It's actually pretty, Pretty decent card. I don't think I have that one yet, so that's kind of cool. Anyway, you'll see some of the other cards. Look at freaking ripped Machamp. Look at his nose, man. He's been doing nose push-ups. Got Kabu, just kind of chilling there, and a pretty cool Absol art. Set those aside, along with Vulpix. So next we have an Obstagoon pack to get into. Pretty interesting situation with these packs. I never want to open nicely, fortunately. Okay. Code card. Let's see what we have. So we got Swablu, Machop, Zigzagoon, Vulpix, Rockruff, a Reverse Hollow Beedrill. It's pretty cool. And a Hollow Altaria, which I don't think I pulled last time. I'm gonna put that over there. Fighting Energy. Ripped Machoke again, Pokemon Center Lady, and Hop. Hop actually has a full art trainer card in this set that I would be pretty happy to pull. Just gonna throw this back here. Four pack. Yeah, I'd be pretty happy to pull the, this is one of those situations where I'd actually be okay with pulling the uh, full art trainer card. I actually like that card. I'm probably falling to the minority of people who don't hate Hop with my entire existence, so I thought he was pretty cool. <laughs> anyway, we got a full heal, Sizzlypeed, this is pretty interesting art, Purloin, Ekans, Potion, a Hatterene Reverse Hollow, a Hatterene Hollow, put that over there, Fire Energy, Pokemon Center Lady, Hop, and Victini, which is weirdly enough an uncommon card in this set. Um, I don't really know much about Gen 5 Pokemon, but 
what I'm aware of is that, I'm actually just gonna pop him right there. What I'm actually aware of is that Victini is like an event Pokemon. <laughs> so it'd kind of be like, I feel like the equivalent would be like having Deoxys um, <laughs> as an uncommon in a, ra or in a uh, set or something, maybe like a Deoxys or like, um, like a Jirachi or something, it'd be kind of weird. <laughs> Maybe it's different though, and I just don't know. I didn't really play the Gen 5 game so much. Okay, so we got Full Heal, Scraggy, Ekans. That's a pretty cool art for Ekans. Kakuna, I like the sky in the background there. Nickit, who actually has two artworks for some reason in this set. Reverse Kakuna. And Wailord V. Nice. I did actually really want that card. So we'll go over the last one. Suspicious Food Tin. Hyper Potion, and Malamar, which is kind of interesting. So yeah, that's pretty interesting. I'd like to pull a Reverse Hollow Energy if possible. Um, I do think they look kind of cool. So that'd be pretty, pretty sweet. We'll take a quick look at the Wailord V card right there. Interesting, very nice. Um, the centering on this card seems to be better than the centering on the promo card, which is pretty nice. Uh, there is a bit of, you can see a little bit of something something there on the bottom, but overall it's pretty okay. Um, yeah, I'm not really planning on getting any of these cards, cards graded. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna leave the Charizard sealed. I'll probably leave one sealed and maybe open one, depending on which one has better centering. Um, yeah, so I guess we'll, we'll have to see. this. You know, I've seen pretty crazy things like people pulling uh, Charizard shiny in like the same box that they pull freaking rainbow rare Charizard. So kind of ridiculous, but hopefully, you know, we get the full heal. Hopefully Venusaur. Nope. It's just crafty hollow. Put him back there. Get the metal energy, the hyper potion, and another Malamar as well as a Machoke. I'm probably going to start doing the card trick again. Sorry, I'm a little bit jittery right now, Jesus. Got a water energy to start. Pretty all right, I guess. <laughs> Victini, Arbok, which is actually a pretty interesting art there. I don't really know what's happening, but it's all good. Got the Rotom bike, Swablu in front of the rainbow. Sizzly Pete, kind of doing the same thing Ekans is doing. I always thought these claymation -y cards were really cool. <laughs> Weedle t chilling in some leaves. Galarian Zigzagoon. Rockruff, this art kind of has like, I don't know if you guys can see it, the lighting isn't super great. I don't know, it just looked kind of like blurry and like weird to me the first time I looked at it, but you might not be able to pick it up in the camera. <laughs> anyway, we got a Hatena Reverse Hollow and another Zygarde Hollow. Uh, let me know how you guys feel about the whole concept of having um, a hollow in every pack. Because, um, I don't know if like, I don't know if having a hollow in any pack, but keeping the ultra rare cards at the same, something's, something's happening there. Keeping the ultra rare cards at the same rarity, like as far as I'm aware, um, Charizard rainbow rare is, it's probably like a one in 300, one in 350. And I'd say the shiny Charizard V is probably like a one in 200 packs kind of odds. Obviously those are just um, odds that I'm putting together based on what other people have said that, you know, generally they can pull. The shiny Charizard from Hidden Fates, I would say is probably like a one in 300. So let's see what happens. I don't know how I feel about that. Cause it's like, there it's already really hard to get your hands on champions past stuff to begin with. On top of that, you know, these cards are really hard to pull. So it's like, fuck, I don't know. And then we got a Grappalock V Full Art. Okay, so it's a pretty decent pull. Um, I didn't really want this card, uh, but you know, that's pretty cool. I'll take it. Let's see, three more. Can we pull one more ultra rare card? Can we? We'll have to see. Um, this is only like the third Champions Pass product I've ever opened, so I can't really say too much about the pull rates. Um, but I, of course, do have another trainer box with me. Let's go. As well as uh, two more Dubwool uh, Blister Packs. All right, so we got a Leaf Energy. 
I also, um, I wouldn't recommend anyone buying any more trainer boxes for the like inflated prices because I have heard rumors of Champions Path restocks for the trainer boxes and stuff and I also know that they're going to continue releasing. There is like a, a group of Champions Path products that have not even been released yet so you know I don't think that it's going to be something that's going to be necessarily always difficult to get your hands on. All right and we got a hollow professor's research. All right Dreadnought VMAX pack second to last pack. What the heck? <laughs> okay, let's see here. What do we got? What do we got? Oh, 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 crap. Yeah, there's a there's an ultra rare card in there for sure. Didn't mean for that to happen. Um, it's not a rainbow rare, <laughs> fortunately, but there you go. Code card. All right, let's see what we get. Um, all right, let's see what happens. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> all right. One center lady, Team Yell Grunt, Vic Teeny, Roly Coley, that's a pretty, pretty alright art there, Nicket, Ekans, Carvana, Jumping on the Waves, Swablu, Ooh, Reverse Machamp, I actually do really like this card, and we got an Al Creamy V, okay, I'll take it, don't have it yet. Um, obviously the VMAX card would be a bit cooler, but I mean, hey, I'm not really complaining. I'll take it. Okay, last pack. Hopes are not too high for this, given what just happened, but it's all good. Okay, let's see. Boom. And do the card trick. One, two, three, four, with the energy to the front. See what we got. So we got Darkness Energy, Victini, Sonia, Kabu, Ekans, Kakuna, Nicket, Swablu, Machop. Wow, still no energy cards. What the heck? And oh, Dreadnought V Max. Very cool. That's crazy. I can't believe I got another pull. I really wasn't expecting that. Wow. That's a nice card, man. That's not too bad. Check out the back, see what's going on. Um, centering from top to bottom looks a little bit off, but it appears to be straight. So, I mean, that's all we can really ask for. There you go, Dreadnought VMAX. Very cool. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and sleeve these guys up and we will go over our pulls for the video. So obviously we've got our Charizard V Full Art promo card. Very nice. I could just stare at this all day. It's pretty decent. <laughs> Don't mind it. And in our Hidden Fate sleeves here, we've got our pulls from the box. I didn't sleeve all of the hollows because I have doubles of some of them and I just didn't really care to do it right now. But anyway, we've got Professor's Research Hollow, Zygarde Hollow, who is for some reason a fighting type, but uh, whatever. Uh, we got Altaria Hollow, which is a nice one. I'm glad I got that one. We've got our Alcremi V, which is the regular one. Waylord V. Nice card. I like this one. <laughs> I still remember the first time I ever pulled a Waylord and just thinking it was crazy because I used to think Pokemon cards were good based on how much uh, HP they had. So I just remember I pulled this Waylord, court, Waylord card and I was like, oh my god, 200 HP? It's crazy. That was years ago now though, but I do still have the card. So <laughs> anyway, I just ran an anecdote there. We got our Waylord V card, a Grapplock V Full Art. Very nice card here. And my favorite pull from this box, our Dreadnought VMAX card. Very nice. Okay, so thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you guys got in your boxes. Uh, obviously in the future we'll be opening that box there as well as some more probably another trainer box, and then obviously just more Champions Path products. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching, guys.